Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey romance defended by Valerie Bertinelli who tells haters to shut up. Swift was joined by Blake Lively, Ryan Reynolds as she cheered on Kelsey and the Chiefs. Valerie Bertinelli defended Taylor Swift's rumored relationship with Kansas City Chief star Travis Kelsey as the wildest dreams singer made another NFL appearance Sunday night. Swift showed up with A-list friends in tow, including Blake Lively and Ryan Reynolds, to cheer on Kelsey as the Chiefs faced off against the New York Jets. Many fans had mixed reactions, with some calling the alleged romance a PR move. Can all of you negative Nellies just stop? Stop, Bertinelli said in a TikTok. Let the rest of us enjoy watching two successful, funny, talented, incredibly gorgeous human beings, let us enjoy watching them fall in love. Bertinelli also defended Swift from claims that the pop star was being too loud at the games. She told haters calling the relationship a PR move to shut up. It's a football game. Bertinelli explained. They're exciting. They're very thrilling. The cookbook author encouraged people online to be respectful. Don't take sneaky pictures and sell them. Be respectful, Bertinelli warned. Let the rest of us respectfully enjoy this love story that is playing out in front of us. Ok? Thank you. Have a good day. Swift and Kelsey first sparked romance rumors when the Midnight's singer showed up at a Kansas City Chiefs game on September 24. Kelsey and his team were victorious over the Chicago Bears that Sunday, and the two were spotted leaving together in his convertible. Kelsey reportedly took Swift to a private party after the win, where she hung out with the team and the tight end's mother, Donna Kelsey. Ahead of Swift's surprise appearance at Arrowhead Stadium, Kelsey told Pat McAfee that he had invited her to his game, although he did not share details of how the two connected. I threw the ball in her court and, you know, I told her, I've seen you rock the stage at Arrowhead and you might have to come see me rock the stage at Arrowhead and see which one is a little more lit, Kelsey said during the interview.